on here we inspire you to look within you to be the best version of you that you were created to be that God called you out to be on here you get content on relationship on worship on love just really really pure good stuff all right uh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel go ahead and do so all right and for all our returning subscribers God bless you richly uh, today I want to share with us uh, something uh, that has been on my heart and I just keep seeing it everywhere and I just feel it's time for for us to talk about it and share about it I want to talk to us about uh, the judgmental Christianity we have today or the judgmental Christians okay uh, there's this popular notion now I'm going to look at this this whole judgmental thing from three different angles there's this whole thing with, with believers that if you see a believer maybe living a kind of life that is not right and according to the word of God not according to any other person's standard and you try to call them to reason all you hear is don't judge me the Bible says judge not and all, all of that all of that stuff it's true the Bible says judge not all right but I believe when Paul was when Paul was expansiating he said why would you be judging someone out there someone who is not even a believer now what I want to look at this is firstly it's important as a believer to be able to be teachable and correctable yeah I don't know if that word even exists but you should be that kind of person that people can correct you because sometimes we think we are doing the right things or we are just outright living in compromise because we've opened some doors that need to be closed and when people try to talk to you it's like oh don't judge me don't judge me why are you judging me of which the real problem is we don't want to be corrected we are just against correction the spirit of disobedience is at work in us and and what i what i want us to understand is this is as i said this is my take on this whole thing the bible says that what god is a god of all knowledge and wisdom by him our actions are weighed god judges the motives of our heart if you are trying to correct somebody or trying to help somebody because God has put a burden for them in your heart and they don't want to listen with the whole don't judge me thing that is okay right you you've done your part but if it's coming from a place of oh that's a sin uh, no they should just stay in their scene now that is not right okay so first things first I remember there was a story in the Bible where God was speaking to the prophets he said I sent you to go tell these people to repent from their sins and if they hit to you fine and good but if I send you and you don't go and these people end up perishing I'm gonna charge their blood on your head so if you are been put a burden to correct somebody do your part if they don't want to take it in the name of stop judging me you're judging me you're judgmental you know that's that's what you Christians do because Christians tell others like that so it's it's just one of those things we have we we have among us right so the first aspect is you don't accept correction because you know you want to use the whole judgmental talk okay and then the next people are the people that they feel like okay this person is already a sin I'm just gonna let them wallow in their sin theirs is really you know they have they've, they've exceeded it all day they are never gonna change now it's not a place to know who is gonna change or not change like if you haven't watched my uh, are you a Jonah video then I think you should go ahead and watch it right when God tells you to pray for someone or try to correct someone do your part do your part you see a lady skimpy dress everything exposed like everything is outside and she's going to the house of God and she tells you no don't judge me God sees my heart God sees your heart we can see your outfit there's just an outfit that you cannot wear you can you can go to a club dressed up in you know in in Kaba and what we call Kaba I'm just saying they they're just some outfits that cannot go and it makes people have a different impression of you that impression might be right it might be wrong but the truth is that we should do our part to correct okay and if the person takes it fine and good if they refuse to take it all right you've played your part but for you not to do your part because you're like you by your standard you've condemned this person already that's not right see God is a judge of the whole earth and by him each and every one of us will be judged so whatever you do be on that place where I wasn't trying to condemn somebody I was just doing the beat I can do and I'm not you know just put yourself in the right place according to the Word of God now the third area of judgment of, of being a judgmental Christian is the one that I, I, I love to focus on and I feel that we can do now I was listening to one man of God he said each time he ministers 
and people like come after the service and they give him all these compliments he says he feels like there's you know his head is swelling as they normally say and he goes back to his closet he tells god father he has to pray and deal with the spirit of pride before it destroys him now that's the kind of we have to be our own judges you know look at your life evaluate yourself the bible says if any man thinks he stands let him really be sure that he stands do a self-evaluation evaluation right am i am i am i living in anger in hatred in in compromise in this that look at your life so that if someone really comes up to you and begins to see me to help you you can receive it but if you don't evaluate yourself you feel like no i'm good i'm all there who is this to talk to me you might end up destroying yourself self-evaluation or self-judgment is really important if anyone thinks that he stand it he should really think well so in as much as we have to help people or other people help us we have to also help ourselves and stop using the phrase stop judging me or oh, they're judging this person judging this person whatever you do let your motive be th true and it should come from a place of the word of god not that oh my church is this my church is that oh it's not we're not this is not a religion kind of thing i'm not talking judge judge being being judgmental or trying to help on the basis of religion what do i mean by this i'm not talking about oh don't wear earrings wear earrings wear trousers don't wear trousers tie your hair don't tie your hair that's religion i'm not talking about all of that i'm just saying that we have put this whole judgmental bubble we are using it in a way that it's killing us. This is what I truly believe. You can help people now. It's that you're judging them. And when you don't help, you are still judging because you I feel like, okay, this can this person cannot be helped. But if we really start evaluating ourselves, then we can really make progress. So that's my take on it. I don't know what what do you think? I know you must have heard this around and let me hear what you think in the comment section. All right. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. I love you. I'm inspired Grizel. Stay.